Good morning. Good morning. Hey, fiery mom. Good morning. Good morning, Kim. Good morning. Good morning. I am back in full effect. Well, not really full effect, but I'm back. And um, <clears throat> we're closing out today's monthly topic. Good morning, everybody. Hey, Antoinette. Good morning. Good morning. Hey, Kim. I am feeling a little bit better. I'm going to close out today. Good morning, Michelle. Thanks, love. <clears throat> Forgot to get my cough drop, but it's all good. I am. Um, I'm like, you know, I'm full blown now. Yesterday, I could feel it coming. Today, it's here. Good morning. Um, I'm going back to bed after this. So I wanted to close out boundaries. I wanted to make sure we're good. Good morning, uh, Forever Personal. How you, how you doing, love? Good morning, everybody. Thank you for sharing. We are live on the Morning Life Scope with True Heart Speaks. I am Dietra True Heart, your life purpose <clears throat> life purpose generator, purpose provoker, and I speak life mentor. I am not operating at 100, but I'm here. here. Hey, Erica, how are you? And um, we're going to get this party started. And um, hence the music in the background. Hey, Lori, how are you? Good morning. Hey, Tammy, good morning. Hey, everybody, good morning. I am sharing, so come on in, come on in, come on in. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Good morning, how are you, what do you do for a living? Do you sell books? Um, thank you so much, hey Polly, hey everybody. Um, I'm a speaker, I speak for a living, I speak and teach for a living. Hey K Candies, how are you on Instagram? And um, I do have a book um, that is coming out, and uh, it's in pre-order form called 30 Days of Thanks. So, yes, hey, Shermani, good morning. <clears throat> All right, let's see here. So, we are closing out today's conversation with Stop Suffering in Silence. Hey, Asia Poo, how are you, love? I'm just sharing on Facebook. And um, good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning. I'm hoping that Facebook doesn't give us any issues today. I know just with the internet, it had been kind of acting crazy. So we're actually looking into that. I got a, uh, a Wi-Fi adapter that I thought would be, hey, love, how are you, sunny sunshine? Um... So, uh, hey, AZ, how are you? So I got an adapter, but it I won't say it doesn't work, but I have to figure out how it works um, to kind of enhance my internet. Um, so hopefully we will. Good morning, Bernalyn. How are you, love? Um, hopefully we won't have any issues like we've been having in the past. If so, we are still live. Good morning um, on Facebook, and we're still live on Periscope, so if by some chance, um, it does go out like it did a couple days ago, um, like towards the end, good morning, Susie, how are you, love? If it goes out, um, no worries, it, it is being recorded, um, on Periscope, and I'll share the link, and then I'm also starting to put my videos on YouTube, so people who don't have access to Periscope and Facebook, um, have access to it, right? Just so you all know, um, today is the last day of this month that we're live. Um, Sunday is the last day to get your green, I Speak Life green tea if you want to get it. Um, tonight, today is the last day to register for um, the I Speak Life. And it's not I Speak Life, but it's the Life Scope Masterclass. And so um, we're talking all about boundaries. So if you are um, planning on registering, you want to get that in now, trueheartspeaks.com forward slash boundaries. <clears throat> and um, 
I think that's it for now. I'm going to make a couple of announcements at the end, but I want to kind of get moving. I am going to... Uh, so let's double tap the screen. Let's get our hearts of worship going, hearts of worship going. Um, despite how I feel, I'm grateful to be alive and well. Despite um, catching my kids cold, I am uh, alive and well and um, in as much of a right mind as I can be. And, um, you know, it is what it is, but I'm super excited to be sharing tonight. So again, if you have yet to register for tonight's webinar, it's $37. You can go to trueheartspeaks.com forward slash boundaries, trueheartspeaks.com forward slash boundaries. So um, double tap, double tap, double tap. And uh, we're getting ready to start. So I'm not going to keep you long. I'm not going to keep myself long simply because um, I am not at 100. But I wanted to, to, to commit to just being here and closing this out right there is something to... Um, closure, right? There's uh, something to closing things out. And so I want to make sure, good morning, everybody who's joining on Instagram, Periscope, and Facebook. I am Deetra True Heart, your life purpose generator, purpose provoker, and I speak life mentor, <clears throat> speaker, teacher, author, um, helping you to get out of your own way and get to the business of living. Um, and just a reminder so that you guys know, I will be off all next week. Um, I'm off the first three days of every month offline um, at the first three days of every month. Good morning. Thank you, Tiffany. I appreciate you, love. Um, and since Thursday is the only day that I would be, I'm not going to be on for Thursday as well. So we will be off for an entire week. Um, I will be taking that time just to kind of good morning, Marilyn, <clears throat> taking that time to kind of ref refresh and replenish um, as we prepare for um, next month, new topic. So let's jump in. So today we're talking all about... Um, let me pull my notes over here so I can actually see them. <clears throat> um, so today we're talking all about suffering in silence. And so I'm telling you today's uh, topic is about suffering in silence. And really as it relates to boundaries, thank you for inviting people. So if you're on Periscope, you can swipe right on the iPhone, swipe up on the Android. And I think I left my tissue. So if my nose runs, I'm in trouble. Y'all give me one second. I gotta go get my tissue. Give me one second. All right, I'm back. Okay, I had to go get tissue just in case my nose started running. So we're talking about stop suffering in silence, today's topic, right? And um, as I was thinking this morning about how I wanted to close this out, because there's so much that we've been talking about and there's so much in this book um, that I still have encouraged you. Hey, Keita, good morning, love, that I'm encouraging you to to buy it so that you can kind of read and process on your own. Um, but tonight's masterclass is really going to be um, deeper. It's going to be more than just this book, right? Um, application, implementation, uh, for me to ask questions, um, to challenge you to really kind of do the work and figure out what um, boundaries look like for you, especially for people who don't have boundaries, people who... Um, you know, let's just say their own personal experience has taught them really just to kind of suffer in silence, right? And so my challenge to you is to stop suffering in silence. My challenge to you, thanks, love. I'm feeling just a tad bit bitter, but um, I plan on going back to bed after this. And so I'm going to kind of go through my notes that I was right now and processing this morning, and then we're going to have some a quick conversation about boundaries, right? Um, because I think at the end of the day, a lot of the stress and a lot of what we go through is really due to a lack of boundaries. Good morning. How are you, lovey? And, um, you know, a lack thereof of boundaries, right? And so some people say, well, yeah, you know, I have boundaries, you know, I this and that. But at the end of the day, um, there are certain areas of our lives, right, that we do not have boundaries in. You know, it could be in your finances. It could be in how you communicate in your relationships. Um, it could even be there's no boundaries in like your physical health, like you have no boundaries when it comes to eating, you know, different things like that. And so um, let me just kind of go through my notes and then we'll have conversation. And so it says, you know, you don't know what you don't know, but when you learn 
and come to knowing you should be driven to do something about it. But most times we're driven to stay quiet and suffer in silence because our pride won't let us ask or reach out for help or accept help. And that's huge because we just came out of our masterclass on pride control, right? Controlling pride. Good morning, Jess 1717. And um, pride will cause you to miss out on a lot of things simply because you won't open your mouth. And, you know, pride won't allow you to admit that you're struggling, even though you know you're struggling, right? All of us, right? Pride will say, oh, well, I got this. You know, I don't really have to, you know, um, ask for help. Like, I'll, I'll get it together. Like, I'll work this thing out on my own. And so my question, and you know, this is a um, a life check question that I ask for everything, right? Is what is it costing you to continue to live a boundaryless life? What is it costing you to continue living a boundaryless life, right? Having no boundaries, um, saying yes just because, oh well, you know, it's just a really good you know, event or it's a really good, um, you know, the, or young people are doing something really good and I just want to go and support them. But, you know, you've already committed to something else or, you know, that um, you've committed to not going to any more events. But yet and still, um, you know, we make decisions based on people pulling our heartstrings. Right. And so good morning, Keystone 777. And so at the end of the day, there have to be boundaries even with that boundaries even with good stuff right and so it's not necessarily just the bad stuff it's sometimes it's the good stuff it's you know sh being everywhere all the time and then you're like dang like I'm not even sure why I said yes to this like why did like it's always there's always that resentful yes of like yeah it's great but I really probably should have said no and so, you know, what is it costing you to keep saying yes out of fear, obligation, past experiences? And so if you remember in the book, we talked about past experiences. Um, good, mar uh, good morning, Omar. I see you on there if that's you. And, um, you know, we get to a space where <clears throat> like our past experiences have taught us um, not to say no. Right. Um, or, or or have taught us that if we say no, X, Y and Z will happen. And so we make a lot of decisions out of fear. We make decisions out of anger, meaning that the other person might be angry. We make decisions out of guilt. And so we have to stop doing that. Right. You can't afford not to join me tonight. Specifically. Good morning, Ava. How are you, honey? Um, simply because at the end of the day, it's not costing them. It's costing you. It is not costing them. It is costing you. And here's the thing. Um, I want to ask you a, a question. So it says, isn't it time you got out of your own way and really got to the business of living? And more importantly, isn't it time for you to start living the way God wants you to live? God never intended for you to live a boundaryless life. God never intended for any of us to live a boundaryless life. And so like, I love the story in the book, if you've read it, where it talks about the person who makes decisions or who says yes, or who has issues with kind of opening their mouths because of how they grew up. Good morning, Odetta, how are you, love? And so what happens is, is because they grew up maybe in a um, in a, uh, a strict household uh, where they were running never really allowed to have their own opinion, never really allowed to um, to express themselves, never really allowed to say no, then what happens is, is, is that they don't either they be grow up being the, the, really the same way or they grow up positioning themselves in a place where they don't feel like they have a voice. They don't feel like they they have a say. Thank you for sharing everybody who's sharing this video. Um, they don't feel like they have a say. And so we have to get to a space where we give ourselves permission um, to not only acknowledge our voice, but to voice our voice, right? I give you permission to voice your voice. I give you to permission to voice um, your opinions and, and your expressions um, and, and the various things that you have to say. A lot of times we won't say anything really because that's how we were raised. And so my thing is, is, you know, understanding that God never intended for you to live a boundaryless life. The other question is, is not what is it costing you, but what has it cost you to live a boundaryless life? What has it cost you? It has cost you something. It has cost you, whether it's time, whether it's relationships, whether it's your own self-esteem. Good morning, Melina. How are you, love? Um, it has cost you something, right? And, and my question to you is, um, are you okay with your current situation? Or are you just settling? 
only you can be honest with yourself and even sometimes like we'll say well yeah I'm good like you know I've been I've been getting along this far like on my own or doing what I need to do but at the end of the day let me just tell you this you know we can lie to everybody else and even when we tend to lie to because we lie to ourselves too we we lie to ourselves too right <clears throat> And so even, <clears throat> excuse me, when we lie to ourselves and try to convince ourselves that we're, um, you know, we're good, we got this, we're not. We're not. Even when we try to convince ourselves. Thank you, Farah. Hi, everybody at Farah J's. Good morning. And so when you when you try to convince yourself, right, because that's basically what you're doing, right? When if you really take the time to look yourself in the mirror and you take the time to really kind of say, you know what, I'm playing myself like real talk, like I'm playing myself and I really need to get clear on, um, you know, what's really important to me. And I really need to be in a space of operating from that perspective. Right. And so tonight, if you join me in the masterclass, we're going to talk about the correlation between priorities and boundaries. We're going to talk about the correlation <clears throat> between priorities and boundaries because there is a correlation. There is a correlation. Right. And, um, you know, so for me, I, I want you really right. I'm going to keep this short and sweet because you all know I'm totally not operating at 100 percent. Good morning, Naima. How are you, love? But I want you to stop telling yourself, right? So here's the thing. Let me just get go back to this where it says we know that we're when we're lying to ourselves. And so my, my statement says, stop lying to yourself saying you got this because you don't. Admit sometimes, hey, tomorrow, how are you, love? Stop telling yourself that it'll get better over time because guess what? It only gets better when you get moving. And so there's a saying that says you can either make moves or make excuses, but you can't do both. You need to stop making excuses, not only for yourself, but the people who you are making excuses for like, well, you know, well, they can't do, you know, if you remember in the very beginning, we read the boundaryless life and where the mother was, uh, you know, the mother would come over and she was lonely and she was X, Y, you know, all that other kind of stuff. And it's like, well, she needed somebody to talk to. Well, yeah, but you had a responsibility to um, to do you. That was time that you had set aside to create and, and make your daughter's costume. And so you push your schedule back for somebody else. And we have to stop making excuses for people. We have to stop joining in people's pity parties. We have to, you know, stop allowing people to draw us into their drama whether it's you know drama drama or it's just drama like oh what was sometimes you gotta you have to decide like you have to make a decision that that stuff says this will be me when somebody asks how I am and I always say I'm good but in reality I'm not good yeah well you know what Odetta it's interesting because I've now said like some people say well how are you and I said you know I could be better you gotta put yourself first right you gotta put yourself first because at the end of the day um you know, we, we walk around feeling resentful. We walk around feeling some kind of way about the decisions we make and we walk around suffering in silence. And my challenge to you is to stop suffering in silence. My challenge to you is to position yourself to be in a space where you can make decisions. And here's the thing. Some say, well, I feel bad. That's fine if you feel bad so long as you still do it. Good morning, Campbell Trudy. Um... It's, it's great if you feel bad, but you still got to do it. And I say it's great because guess what? It'll, it starts off that way. It starts off at a point where you're like, dang, oh, people, then people say you're being negative for not just saying you're okay. Well, guess what? Lala, those people can jump in the toilet. Because <laughs> at the end of the day, there's a saying that says it's okay to not be okay. I would always say I could complain, but I but I won't, right? And sometimes, you know, even with that statement, <laughs> right, Sharmani, like they could go jump in the toilet because it's okay to not be okay some days. It is okay to not be okay. It's okay to say, and it's not about complaining. It's really, sometimes it's a cry for help to say, you know what, I'm tired today. Most of us are not okay. Like this week, people, a couple of my girlfriends have been asking me how I was doing and I kept it real. I was like, today is not today, you know, it's the truth that that's the real situation. Absolutely. And so I think we have to get to a space where, um, and I think that's part of it is, is we're just taught that it's not okay to express ourselves. And we have to stop, we got to stop suffering in silence. 
We got to stop suffering in silence. And I think, you know, and, and it's not complaining. Like sometimes I think we use that saying to say, you know, I could complain what I want. And it's not about complaining. I'm not complaining about what's really going on with me. Um, you asked me how I was. And so today is not really a good day. I'm overwhelmed. I'm tired. I think I'm taking on too much. And at the end of the day, everything that I've taken on right now is stuff that I really can't let go of because it's something that is priority in my life. And so I'm really just trying to get through this season and I'm trying to figure out how to maneuver some things because I'm overwhelmed. That's not complaining. That's truth. And so when you get to that space where, you know, people are saying that you're being negative or whatever the case may be, I would imagine that they're the same people who lie about how they feel. Those are the same people who are suffering in silence as well. Where if you say it and they're like, oh, girl, you know what? Now that you say it, me too. And so we got to stop doing that. We got to stop suffering in silence. We have to um, get to a point where um, we start specifically stop living boundaryless lives that it is okay to say no. It is okay to not only express how you feel, but it's also okay to tell yourself how you feel. Stop looking yourself in the mirror and lying about the situations that are going on um, and, and really get, and here's the thing, and ask for help. You know what I'm saying? Seek help. Um, sign up for the Life Scope Masterclasses. Every month I do a masterclass on a different topic. Last month was Pride. The month before that was Quiet Time. The month before that we talked about leadership. And so <clears throat> you all excuse me. Y'all know I'm suffering over here and this nose is trying to run. So at the end of the day, even if it's, it's $37, if you are not worth $37, my goodness, we need to have a conversation because nobody can put worth your a worth on your value, right? A price tag on your value. And so your value is worth so much more than $37. But my goodness, if you could just take the time to invest in yourself, and maybe it's not with me, but maybe it's in a financial coach. Maybe it's in a personal trainer. Maybe it's in a nutritionist. Maybe it's a therapist. Maybe it's a, you know, maybe it's, you know, whatever the case may be. Be, but at the end of the day, sometimes if what you are doing is not working, it's important for you to partner with somebody who can help you get moving. But it's also important because guess what? You, If what you are doing now is not working, then that means that you probably need to be doing something different. And we talked about that on Tuesday. No, Monday. I can't remember what day it was. I think it was Monday. Um, Yes, it was Monday. So... You, you got to start doing something different. And if and if the first step is signing up for the masterclass, and here's the thing, maybe you've got stuff going on, but the masterclass is recorded, which means that if you can't join me tonight at seven o'clock, when the masterclass is over, the masterclass will be emailed to you and you can watch it whenever you want, however many times you want, because you get it, you have access to it. Thank you so much. And so so let me close. We got three minutes. Let me go. Um, let me close so I can go and let you go. But here's the thing. I want you to stop suffering in silence. I want you to really kind of think about the areas of your life where you have allowed um, things to just get out of hand. And I want you to, as we close this topic out and we just kind of bring this to a close, I want you to be open and honest with yourself um, and open enough with yourself and honest enough with yourself to admit what's not working. That's really the first thing is you got to admit what's not working. You got to admit that there are times that you have been doing things that you know is not working for you, right? Um, and, and the interesting thing is, is it's kind of like when you get sick and tired of being sick and tired, you'll finally make a decision. Um, there's another saying that says when the pain of change becomes greater than the pain of staying the same, then you'll change. When the pain of change becomes greater than the pain of staying the same, then you'll change. For some of you, you like the pain of staying the same because it's greater than the pain of change. And so it's more comfortable. It's kind of like I'll stay with the devil I know than the devil I don't know. And at the end of the day, the devil staying with the devil you know. Good morning. Hey, PG Tech. Hey, Motivated to Transform. Hey, Jay. Um, the devil you don't know might not even be a devil, right? And so we talk ourselves out of blessings. We talk ourselves out of certain things simply because for us like well why well would it because of it's the fear of the unknown if i if i change this situation thank you everybody who's sharing this specifically on facebook 
if I, if I, uh, if I, if I, if I change, right, if I, if I make moves, or right? I can either make moves or make excuses, and for me, making, making excuses is so much more comfortable, it's what I'm used to, but guess what, I'm not here to make you, make you comfortable, I'm here to challenge you, I'm here to make you uncomfortable, I'm not here to make you feel bad, but I'm definitely not here to make you feel comfortable, my job is to push you, my job is to provoke you, my job is to propel you, my job is to help you get out of your own way and get to the business of living, and because we're talking about boundaries this month where I'm telling I need you to get out of your own way so that you can start getting to the business of living and the way you get out of your own way is deal with boundaries start creating a boundary life a, a, a life of boundaries right learning to say no learning to say yes to you learning what's appropriate for you to say yes to um stop feeling obligated to say yes to everything and at the end of the day um be you know spend some time taking care of you period Take some time to take care of you. So as we close, um, it is important for you to understand um, that it is okay to, to no longer suffer in silence, right? It's okay. It's absolutely okay. It's okay to tell people how you feel. Thank you for sharing, Nicole. I see you, love. Um... It is okay to tell people how you feel. And here's the thing. every One of the things that I love about Brene Brown, um, who she wrote the book Daring um, Greatly, The Gifts of Imperfection and Rising Strong, which is the most recent book that I read. And one of the things that I love about her, even when she talks about boundaries and she talks about sharing your story, is the idea that um, everybody doesn't earn the right to hear your story and so I'm thinking about you Lala when you talk about that some people haven't earned the right to hear your story and so only the people who have earned the right to hear your story and so when they ask how are you there's some people who don't deserve the right for that answer because they're not ready for the answer and so you got to determine and you have to be able to have a circle of people who when they ask you, how are you? And you say, I'm not doing too good today. When they ask you, how are you? You say, I'm very overwhelmed today. When they ask, how are you? You say, you know, I'm good, but I'm overwhelmed. I got a lot of good stuff going on. Good morning, Regina. How are you, lovey? I have a lot of good stuff going on, but I'm overwhelmed with all of the good stuff that I have going on. Because guess what? My job, when I say I help successful yet busy and overwhelmed women to get out of their own way and get to the business of living, everything that overwhelms you is not always bad stuff everything that overwhelms you is not always negative stuff sometimes you can have a lot of really good stuff going on and you still need to decide what you've got to stop doing you can have a real a whole lot of really good stuff and here's the thing good is the nemesis um to great and so if you get so caught up in good you will miss opportunities for great you will settle right and so the pain of staying the same until the pain of change becomes greater than the pain of staying the same until you get to the point of recognizing that where you are is where you can no longer stay then guess what you're gonna stay right where you are you're gonna suffer right where you are you're going to to stay stagnant right where you are and so the only way for you to, to to literally to transition and to move is to move like it's not rocket science you gotta move you gotta move from one space to another you got you gotta start doing some things right and stop talking about it stop talking about it stop you know um don't settle for safe right and so that's gonna really gonna be probably the next book that i read after boundaries it won't be um part of I actually have a couple of books that I, I need to be reading I just bought this other book um it's a money book but yeah so so at any rate let me let me let me let you all go let me pray um and then I'm gonna let you go but <coughs> um I have no one I have no one to say how are you well I think at the end of the day if you have no one to say how are you I'm gonna tell you the best person that you can talk to is the man upstairs um, if you have no one to say who says, how are you? If you have nobody who's asking, the other thing I will tell you is change your environment. If you're around people who don't care enough about you to say, how are you? And who are not concerned about you, um, then I think then you need to change your environment. And that's what we talked about, that you have to start changing people, places and things, doing something different. If Check out Monday's Life Scope. Go back to my broadcast and check that out. But at the end of the day, if you have nobody saying that to you, you need to change your environment. It's just that simple. It's not a pity party. Um, it's not, it's not, 
not, oh, woe is me. It's okay. Well, if I'm recognizing that nobody's asking how I am, then I need to change my environment. It's about you. It's not about them. This right here, when we talk about boundaries and you all need to, I'm telling y'all, y'all just need to register so we can have honest conversation tonight. But the idea, this is about taking control of your life and your decisions. It's not about other people, right? And so if you have nobody who is, you know, asking, how are you? Then at the end of the day, are you asking yourself, how are you? We talked about emotional management last year, dominating your emotions. How am I? Um, how am I and how do I feel? How do I want to feel? Right. And what do I need to do to change it? If how I'm feeling is not how I want to feel. Right. We ought to start. It is about self-awareness. Right. It's not about waiting for other people um, to take the first step. It's about you taking the first step in your own life. Getting out of your own way means stop waiting for other people. Let's pray because y'all are getting me excited. Y'all know I'm not feeling well. Y'all y'all trying to pull on me. Heavenly Father, we thank you for this time and this space. Lord, we thank you for this message. We thank you, oh God, for just an opportunity for us to understand that it is okay for us to no longer suffer in silence, that you have given us permission to no longer suffer in silence, that really your word says that um, you came to give us life. Your son came to give us life and give us life more abundantly. That is not suffering in silence. Your word says that we can cast our cares on you because you care for us. Your word says if we look to the hills from which cometh our help, our help comes from you. And so your word is very clear that you do not, it says some ask out of habit but aren't truly concerned. Be careful who you share your feelings with. Absolutely. Um, you, Father, have, have, have given it in your word um, and told us and confirms it in your word that we don't have to suffer in silence. That we don't have to, we don't have anybody, we have you. That you, you are the comforter, that you are the redeemer, that you are the healer, that you are, um, the, the, you are a mighty counselor, you are the prince of peace, that we can come to you if nothing else, God. And so, even if we don't have anybody, we have you. Your word is clear that you will never leave us, you will never forsake us, you will always be with us, right? And so, if we understand what your word says, maybe not what everybody else says, but if we understand what your word says, God, then we can have peace. And we can rest in what you're in what you're saying to us. We can rest in what your word says to us. We can rest in in what your word speaks to us. We can rest in the restoration of your word. But more importantly, God, aside from resting in your word, we've got to do something. We've got we've got to do something. We've got to do something. We've got to do something. And so, Father, help us to stop suffering in silence. Help us to give ourselves permission um, to let some things out that we've been holding in. Give us permission, God, whether it's through a journal. If we don't have anybody to talk to, let us go to the dollar store. We don't have a lot of money. Go get a journal and start writing some stuff out to start flushing some of that stuff out to start getting it out so that we can start not only processing, but so that we can relieve ourselves from some of the stuff that is weighting us down. And so, Lord, on this day, this final day of boundaries, God, this conversation of boundaries, we're so thankful, God, not only to the book, but just the conversation that we've been having about boundaries, that healthy boundaries are good boundaries, that you even created boundaries, Lord, that there were boundaries that you gave us, that certain things we can and can't do. There's certain boundaries, certain things that you will and will not accept, certain things that you will and will not tolerate. It's called boundaries. And so, Father, we're thankful for this conversation of boundaries. We're thankful for this conversation of um Letting us know that it is okay. Some of us have been taught and conditioned that, that that we don't need boundaries. And so, Father, we're thankful for this introduction to something new that we never knew we could have access to called boundaries. And so, Father, we thank you. We praise you. We magnify you. I speak peace. I speak comfort. I speak release, the release of guilt from anybody who uh, wants to say no, but they're afraid of saying no. Um, I speak the release of guilt um, of people who feel guilty of uh, putting themselves first, um, knowing that they're operating out of an empty, dry cup. I speak um, peace and I speak release to those who are feeling weighted down uh, from just just life in general. And I just ask, Father, that you would give them what they need, Lord. And so, um, yes, they are. And so, Father, we just thank you. We praise you. We magnify you. Those who are watching live and on the replay, Father, I just, good morning, love. And um, I just I just ask, Father, that you would honor their silent prayers, their silent cries. And those of us, God, who may feel overwhelmed, those of us who may feel um, not too much better, Sans, but I'm here because today is the last day and then I'm going back to bed. <laughs> but, Father, we're just thankful, right, that even if we feel overwhelmed and 
we're tired or whatever the case may be, that you would give us what we need, that we would take the time to rest, that we would take the time to shut down, that we would take the time without any feeling of feeling like we have to feel obligated to anybody else, but to say not today. And so, Lord, we, we give you honor, glory, and praise in Jesus' name. Amen. So let me, um, before I let you guys go, let me just say this really quickly. I had um, a customer who bought a t-shirt, one of the green t-shirts, and there was a discrepancy in the size. And so um, most of my shirts, if you look on my website, it says, um, and you all can process and let me know how this is doing, but I'm going to do this now because it's almost eight o'clock and I got to get Dallas up and ready for school. <laughs> but um, with specifically with the green teas, they're limited edition teas, which means that when you order a tea, um, I'm ordering that tea for you, right? I'm not, I don't have those t-shirts in stock, which means that when I order them, I'm ordering them for you. So there is no return. There is no refund. Um, and there is no replacement because I don't have anything to replace it with. Right. And so the size is, um, because they're, they go from small to three X, um, the sizes are, are smaller than a regular t-shirt. Right. And so you want to look at the size, but you also want to recognize that when you buy the shirt there is no refund on the shirt and so um and, and most of my shirts there's no refund on any of the shirts when you buy them but they're but because i keep the other ones in stock if by some chance i need to change switch it out so that i can give you a different shirt because i keep those in stock i can absolutely do that but with the green shirts i can't do that because they literally are limited edition and they're specifically for this month and so after this month i won't be carrying them anymore they're coming off of the website so I needed to make that clear um, so that there aren't any discrepancies. I did add at the top the refund policy as well as all sales are final so that there is no discrepancy. So when you go on and you purchase your shirts, I want everybody to have a green tea, but I didn't buy 100 green teas because, I, you know, 100 people may not want them and they're limited edition. OK, so um, so with that being said, um, if you want one, it's still available until Sunday. You can go to the website, trueherspeaks.com forward slash boundaries. Please check the sizes. The sizes, like I said, it's not this is like a regular T-shirt, right? They don't fit like a regular T-shirt. They are a fitted, fitted tee. Um, the sizing information, that way people can see the bus. Well, and I have to talk to the I asked my uh, the T-shirt person about the shirts. And so hopefully she's going to give those to me. Um, and so I kind of have the sizes, but I don't have the bus size. So I'm going to start adding that stuff. But thank you, Sans. So um, so with that being said, was this good for you guys? Was this helpful for you all? Was what this what you needed this morning? I'm sweating y'all, which means I need to hurry up and get off of here and go back and lay down. Um, was this helpful? Was this good? Yes. I miss you, Sans. Okay, I will. Thank you. And yes, I saw your post. Um, it is, I believe your name is Andre. If I could, if I read through that. Um, I'm here every Monday through Thursday, 7.15 to 7.45. Um, and, but I'm off next week, all of next week. Um, and, um, hey, Adair, how are you, lovey? And, um, yes, I needed this. Love it. Um, I'm starting to sweat, y'all. I gotta get off of here. You know, when you get sick, you start to sweat. So, um, so yes. So, this was good. This was good. But, yes, yeah, so I'm here every Monday through Thursday. Next week, I'm off. Um, yeah, I'm just, I'm starting to have the cold sweats. Um, and so, I'm looking at all of these comments, you all, just while I'm responding. Okay. So off next week, because, you know, I'm off every first three days of the month, I'm offline. So I won't be on next week at all. Um, and I'm preparing to rest next week. Um, so don't call me. I'll call you. <laughs> How did you guess that? Because I'm smart because I can look at that. It's Andre and then I see money. So I see your name in all caps and then I see the money in small caps. That's why smart all right so you all have an awesome day um y'all continue to keep me in prayer um and i'm gonna go rest again register for tonight's master class is 37 dollars to her speaks.com forward slash boundaries and here's the thing if you know you need this stop talking yourself out of stuff right well i don't know well you know well can i you know whatever I don't have time for that either. Like either you're going to get it or you some, sometimes you just got to stop talking yourself out of it and just say, you know what? I'm doing this for me and I'm doing it. And this is not just for the life scope masterclass. This is with everything. I'm not just talking about tonight. I'm talking about with everything. So many different things that you just talk yourself out of. You got to stop doing that. 
I'm talking to myself too. It's some stuff that I talk myself out of and I'm like, Deidre, you gotta stop doing that. We just gotta stop doing it. Like literally, stop doing it. All right, I'm gonna stop. I'm gonna stop right now. And um, I'm getting ready to go. And I love y'all. I will see y'all in two weeks, kind of, on May, I think it's May 5th. Um, I might pop in every so often, but I'm, but again, I'm going to be offline, um, as of next Monday. And so I'll try to pop in before, um, Monday comes just to say hello. And just to remind you that I'm going to be gone for the week and I will see y'all in about a week or so. Bye everybody. I love y'all. Don't forget register for tonight's La uh, life scope masterclass, trueheartspeaks.com forward slash boundaries. And I will see you. Bye.